caused and used in competition. Working on the heavy bag, I'm looking uh, today, for three things on fire. After the shadow boxing, sure you've got the process, I'm going to start a DVD on coming together, and work out some basics, out. right? So he's trying to give me a DVD. I'll let it play out I my box of as I'm working on it. This pack right here, Harold will start throwing his jab, and I'm looking for his feet, his shoulder. Now, the thing with this is, is you go the first round like here, right? But after that first round, let's just say like the jab, you get the jab down. Once you do the jab, pause the DVD, get back on your bag, and now you wanna go ahead and do three or two, three minute rounds of just working that jab, right? So this is how you take this 25, 30 minute DVD and turn it into an hour, hour and a half of just working on super duper basics. So I just got the tire bag here. I'm gonna do the exact same thing he's doing. I'm gonna let the DVD play out. But normally what I do is I'll do one segment. Let's just say the jab, I'll pause the jab. I'll come here, work circling jabs, multiple jabs, throwing out power jabs, and then I'll go on to the next one with your right hand and blah, 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 right? So just to kind of get an idea of how you can break down these DVD, DVDs to get more benefit from it. Here we go. And it's tiny. With each jab, it goes harder and quicker. And you get right back. There you go. Now look at the number coming in behind the power. Good. Good jab. Now we're going to talk about the right hand. Remember, if you're a new boxer starting out, it's very important that you bring your hands back as fast as they go out. That gives you the snap to your punch. We're going to talk about the practice of two different right hands. A straight right hand, which Harold's going to throw, and a looping right hand that you can get more power on. Beginning with, you're going to throw a straight right hand, and I am looking at his foot as you put his hip into it, and his shoulder. Notice his shoulder comes into his chin. Then as he starts to loop the right hand, he throws it over the top. He gets more power. Keeping in mind that he puts it right back as fast as he sends it out. Beautiful. That's the difference of the straight right hand and the looping right hand. We've talked about a power jab, a quick jab, a right hand, straight right hand, a looping right hand, with no power on it. Now we want to talk about the most difficult in boxing. That's the left hook. It's the most difficult. I see how you can mix all this shit up. Throw. Break it down. The hook takes a combination of several different factors. First and foremost is your feet have to change position. When you're in the boxer's stance, when you get ready to that hook, your right foot has to come up and have to step and go flat foot and catch your weight. You have to Ooh. twist your body, get this part of your body, and catch your weight with that it right foot like in your body. Step from here. So instead step. of from the back leg, yeah. the right hand, we twist it to the front. This way we're going to twist it to the right, Boom. and you swing that left foot and get it back. That's the idea. Harold's going to demonstrate how you throw a power left foot on the heavy bag by shifting his balance, shifting his feet, and then shift, and then we get it. There you go. Take it slow. Right back. Snap it right back. Snap it right back. That's it. There you go. Do it again. As you see, the more timing he gets, the more power you get. And that's beautiful. There you go. Get all the weight on it. Switch that weight. That's it. There you go. Put that shoulder into it. There you go. Put that hip into it. There you go. Do it again. There you go. Do it again. There you go. Now he's getting power. Now he's getting power. There you go. There you go. I want you to make the observant about the left hook. And again, this is when you know, throw that hook, down. Make sure your hand is hitting solid. Some fighters throw a hook without turning the hand over, but the most power is going to come and generate just like the right hand. Turn that hand up, hook over. The elbows square with your chin, and you put your chin with your chin. Once again, let's cut it one more time. You know. All the That's it. That's it. Turn it over. Turn it over. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on. One more time. One more time. There you go. Time. All right, remember, after you've learned to throw the left jab, the power right hand, and the left hook, I finish my boxer off with combination punch. What I do here is have to go three minutes nonstop throwing up but power combinations. Forget about technique. This is developing stamina and punching power. As Harold works out in this bag, you'll see what I mean. I'm looking for a spin of weight in your foot to bounce the right and get the shoulders.
One down, I'm telling you, after an hour, man, you're done. Practice a jab to the head, Harold, and then drop down to a jab to the body. All in one motion. Bend those knees. Get down. Get down. That's it. Do it again. Okay. The key to dropping down, hitting the body bag, is to bend those knees and get down low. That's what protects you. When you're in close to a fighter, if you stand up here and start to go down, you'll expose this one out of your face. You've got to drop down and get that jab out. Very important. 
Okay, first we want to go on the left gas, power gas, quick gas. Now I want you to concentrate and focus on the straight, hard right hand. The key to making this successful is throwing that right hand, twisting the hip, shoulder comes up to the chin, and you come right back. It's the snap with a punch, all one time. Let's see you do that on the back. Right back. Snap it back. There you go. See how fast the swing goes back. That's it. Beautiful. Straight. That's it. That's it. Faster. That's it. Shoulder in there. There you go. Shoulder in there. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. Keep it going. Keep it going. Time. We're going to talk about the looping right hand. We were just throwing a hard, straight right hand. Now we're going to talk about a looping right hand. Old school motherfucking karate right hand. Sometimes when you find a boxer with a European style, straight stand up style, don't have his hands like this. But you can see it too. The purpose of a looping they right hand is good, to huh? loop it right over the top and to pass it over his hand. So when Harold has his hands up and his hands are high like this, I'm going to throw that hand and loop it over the top with my elbow. And just barely going over the top of his glove and looping the elbow up, give him a loopy right hand. Watch him perfect this punch as he masters it on the heavy bag. There you go. Turn it in there. There you go. You can notice he has a lot more power with this punch because he's kind of got the confident part of the hook on. Beautiful. There you go. There you go. There you go. Keep it going. Come on, loop it over. There you go. Time. Good job. All right, now we've been preparing and teaching how to fill the left foot with power. What we're going to do now is teach you how to double up with the left foot. This is going to require footwork, balance. We're going to start off with a terrible spiking Ooh. guy like I am, right here, position here. He's going to walk through a double left foot. He's going to step over here with a little half step. He's going to hook to the body. I'll miss with the right hand. And then he's going to double up one over the top of the head. Like that. So as it's, pre as it's presented, I'm going to throw the right hand. Harold's going to step over and double up the left hook. That's how he's going to prepare to practice on this pad here. Let's practice with a little hop over there, a little jump. Over the front. Over the top. Turn that punch over. Practice going flat footed and get the power. There you go. Do it again. It's a three-part technique. First step, power of the body, switch to the hip. Notice how he's switching, turning it at the hips, going back, put it, catching his weight. Beautiful. Do it again. So let it fly. Let it fly. Now let's pick it up with speed. There you go. Pick up with speed. That's it. Do it again. Turn it up one more time. Do it again. Up a little higher. There you go. Do it again. Do it again. Okay, we talked about the assortment of punches. Left jabs, right hands, different styles, different techniques, left hooks. Now what we're going to talk about, how do I condition myself to go for three minutes? What I do, I start my fighter off one round piece. Just with the left jab, just with the right hand, then with the hook, then I go the last round, combining them all. What we're going to do is start with Harold, going the left jab, we're going to go a minute and a half, as hard as we can go. After a minute and a half, two weeks of preparation like this, we'll increase that time to two minutes. After we get that stamina build up, we'll increase it to two and a half minutes, so eventually we can go three minutes non-stop, throwing that same punch. Let's start with a minute and a half workout for Harold right now. Left jab, not the left jab. Come on, now. Right, developing the power. Left jab, that's it. Keep it going. As a trainer, I want to keep my fighter puffed up and enthused and not relaxed. Come on, now. Gotta keep working. Gotta keep working, baby. Keep it going. Keep it going. That's it. Now, those you start speeding it up, put different power up and down. Working on his timing. I'm checking his footwork as a trainer. I'm checking his footwork. I'm checking his hand placement. Punch a little higher. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. Work. Now some power over there. Come on. Come on. Give me all power. There you go. Come on now. 
about the height of your head bag is very important. Anytime you're punching, you want to make sure that you're punching up. Don't get in the habit of punching down here because you don't get the right shoulder on your chin. This bag actually is a little long for a guy my size. I would want that bag to where I'm punching the bag, I'm hitting it right in the middle, and I'm lifting my arm up. Every time you punch, your arm should go up, your eye level go up high. Get some extra stuff for the heavy bag. What I to you now is the freestanding heavy bag. This so bag is great because you can put this anywhere you can't hang it. That's it, right? So we're just giving you little details on or at the certain office, wave masters. Out of the corner, we're saying like the wave master. Sand, basically or like this, right? This bag, because you can move around it. You can Same thing, right? Angles. We're going to watch Harold move this bag. Back. Move right around. Move 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 around. Oh, Boy Master is also a great. You can't just go to the left, don't punch it as he moves. Go back and forth, right? Put your hands over. Just like brace, stress your knee. Move it around, stop. And at the same time, turn, right? move around, take out much stop. Space. Turn, dip, turn. This bag's great for beginners or juniors. Okay. 
Okay, we looked at a lot of different features of boxing today. One thing we haven't talked about, we talked about power punches, and proper placement of punches, but today, right now, we're gonna watch Harold move around the bag from left to right. The key here is taking short steps and punching as he steps. As you watch, Harold work on this bag, everything will be little half steps. Never take long steps, they're always little half steps moving right or left. Never stand still, move either left or right. Let's watch Harold work on this bag, throwing punches as he moves. You see his little footsteps, the little steps, the quick, he's throwing punches as he goes. Keeping his balance in the center of his body. That way you can punch with either hand, with power and authority at any time he needs to. Then go back to the left. Both hands, alternating 